shouldn't have paid 10 bucks for this. What is up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Timothy and if you've been here before, you get a car. You, nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Just, just welcome back to my channel. You're probably here for one of two reasons. Number one, I either pressured you or harassed you or pretty much forced you to click on this video through my Instagram account. Boop. Plug. I know, but you should follow because I post every day. Or number two, you are a avid YouTube viewer, watcher, whatever it is. You watch Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, and everybody does. Hey, this is what's in my bag. And oh, by the way, my bag is over $100, sometimes $150, $200. And most of us do not have that kind of money. So, a year ago, I bought a bag for under $50 from Amazon, and I've been using it for a year, and it... It's held up, it's held up in the snow, it's held up in the rain. And so there's, I don't know man, I am so hyper. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, thank God, I thought I cut the bag. Let's do it. You might be wondering to yourself, hey Tim, you just said you owned this bag for a year, so why are you unboxing it? Um. What is this? Anyway, so I ordered this because I wanted to unbox a bag for the video to make it seem like I'm a real YouTuber. So yeah, as you can see, it is beautiful. Okay, okay, it's beautiful. It is a gray backpack. Looks like a normal backpack, which is why I use the word tactical, because if you're shooting street photography, urban photography, or if you're just shooting models for Instagram and you're carrying one or two lenses, perfect. This bag actually holds three lenses, so uh, three lenses with, with a little bit of a disclaimer. If you're using a... That doesn't look... Right, okay. <laughs> if you're using a 50 millimeter attached to your camera body, it will fit a third lens, but otherwise it won't. But anyway, so let's get to the front of it. The front of it has this, like a normal backpack, whatever you want to put in there. If you want to you want to just throw your phone in there, you can. Um, the top of the bag has got two little compartments here, which I personally use to either keep uh, my external charger, memory cards. I've got enough space here to put maybe like a change of clothes if you're shooting selfies like I normally do for, for the gram. So I put in a change of clothes in here. Um, I put my keys or whatever needs to go in here, pretty much whatever, and it has a laptop sleeve. So I usually take this bag out to coffee shops if I'm gonna shoot. This is my favorite part, right? Open up the side. You pull out the sleeve. Thick. All right, this was a little lazy. Okay. This is to, basically this is like a shower, massive shower cap. For when it rains. But in my experience, it has not absorbed water in the rain. And yes, I have shot in the rain. I have shot in snow. You got three compartments. Two lenses, depending on how you set it up. I'll show you how I set it up. So this is how it comes. This is how I set it up in my old one. Because I shoot with a 10, 10 to 17 Canon F4. Yeah, so it's a, it's, it's, the lens is about this big, which is what I'm shooting on right now. And so when I take it with me, and my camera has a battery pack attached to it. So this is how I set it up. So I only carry one other lens. And this is how most people would set it up. You put your camera body here. On the side, you put two lenses. Super simple, right? Um, so this goes in the old one. Here's the backpack. And the reason why I love it so much is because, and here's where I tell you the price. $42. $42 for a normal looking, non-bulky backpack. Let me show you what I used to carry with me on shoots. This was the size of the old bag. This is the size of the new bag. Look at it. Look at the thickness of it. It's ridiculous. Uh, but to be fair, this holds a lot more. <laughs> this holds like two cameras, four lenses. It's ridiculous. It's my point is, that one is overkill. He'll go street shooting, urban shooting, just for fun, go into the city, whatever. You know, on the go. Also, I just want to say that, no, 
I did not hit up Amazon or Caden for that fact and was like, hey, send me your bag and let me do it. No, I bought this bag with the money I don't have. <laughs> it's 42 bucks, guys. Like, it's not gonna break the bank. And there you go. An urban camera backpack for under $50. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing a lot more camera and video related stuff even though I said I wouldn't do it. But okay, bye bye Oh, actually before I do leave, I have to say if you guys do want to see any more cheap tricks, what's in my backpack videos, what kind of gear I use, leave a comment below and uh, I'll let you know because I do run on a budget, like most people. And my budget isn't even over $500. Got a couple more videos coming, but <gasps> that's it for me. I'm out. <laughs> the shower cap's big enough to fit my ego.